Going to be dramatic, but I can't deal with it. I can't. On. <laughs> because I can't. I can't do this. You got the summertime love. I work for your heart all night to the dawn. You stay with they switch stars. I know you're the one. They go and they come. You like the summer breeze. Do the trees. You hey guys, and welcome to another of a vlog from Mexico. We have just arrived at our hotel and we're in absolute love. It's kind of like a huge Mexican house vibe. Um, it's basically, we, backstory. So we decided to leave Tulum and head towards Yucatan. But before we go to Yucatan, we're stopping off um, to see Chichen, um, which is like the Mexican pyramids, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and we decided to stay in the area and we found this amazing hotel which is basically just a lot hola. hola which is basically like this massive house on the ruins ground so we can actually walk to Chichen from our hotel which is ah, amazing no brainer so we decided to come here um, so we came down by bus let me show you how we got here gracias so we're chilling, waiting for our bus. We have about two, an hour and a half, and Tatiana really, really wants this chicken. We've been talking about this chicken for days. So I said, okay, I'll sit with the luggage. You go get the chicken. I said, give me some wings. So she comes back and she goes, oh my god, I got a whole chicken for a hundred pesos, and she gave me chips, and she gave me tortilla. And I was just like, okay, how are we about to eat this chicken in the middle of the bus garage? Um, and she went and got bowls, so we got little bowls, and we're just eating our little chicken. While Mexico has made you really ratchet, eating chicken with your hands in a bus station, I don't believe it. You should have seen the way that you bloom. I think I saw your face in the moon. I promise I'll be with you as soon as I find a way up. Cause you're, your father did a kiss on the phone. There's things about you I Okay, so like I said, we decided to come and stop at this hotel on the way um, to Yucatan where we can stay and go really close to the Chichen. So tomorrow we're gonna head down there. So tomorrow, tonight we're just relaxing in the hotel, but let me give you a little bit of a tour. So you walk in, you have a little entrance way. Then we have two double beds. Will be a tequila shot, mate. <laughs> We've got lime soup to start. How's your soup, Tati? Uh, it's a really good chaser for the uh, tequila on the rocks that we have here. <laughs> Chichen Itza. 
oh i hope i'm saying that right i'm not very good at saying these things you guys know me but we have just arrived um it's not very busy at all we just took some pictures it's it's huge it's absolutely massive um we don't know much of the history about it so we're about to go learn some history so we can teach you guys but it's super nice i'd say it's pretty limited here there aren't many people i hope you guys can hear me because they took my mic away when i got here so i'm not sure if you can but i hope you can and let's see some gaming history that we've just learned is that it dates back to the 600 to 900 AD and it was built by the Mayan people um, it was a Colombia is it was it pre-Columbian mm -hmm. a pre-Columbian city built by the Mayan people so they also have loads of other little ruins just based around which are all I guess part of the original city um, yeah it's nice it's a, it's a cute little spot it's nice to come and walk around and see the history we didn't get a guide but um, if you want a guide I'm not sure how much it costs but it cost us um, around 500 and I think it was 33 Mexican pesos each to come in plus an additional 80 Mexican pesos which was like a government tax Hey guys, so we have just arrived at Cenote Oxman. We've had a few days off and now we're back out and about and we've just arrived. I'm super excited. Excuse my appearance because yeah, you had to get wet. But oh my God, we've just got here. Let me show you this amazing view. Wait. Wow, it's so big. Please slow oh. down. Hey, do you miss me now? So Tatiana and I came to do this swing so we can jump in but now we're both shitting ourselves. <laughs> for actually jumping in because I was absolutely terrified um, but I did, did I not do it? She did it. A couple times, jumped in, fierce faced. We're now gonna head to the next cenote. Just a bit of back info on this cenote. It cost 110 pesos per person to come here. Um, I would recommend coming in the morning so it's empty and you get all of this to yourself. Um, you're actually supposed to wear a life jacket in the cenote at all times. So for those who can't swim, it's super safe. <laughs> so I think it's really good that some of the cenotes they have sanitizing stations just to keep us safe from the pandemic. Um, we have just got to Cenote Ikil. It's another one of the big ones. It's about 30 minutes away from the Oxman one and we're about to go eat. So Cenote Ezekiel is a wrap. I personally really liked this one, even though you couldn't, we couldn't really like take any good pictures or anything, but it was just fun to like float around in our life jackets, take in the view, like do some jumps. I really enjoyed it. What did you think? Loved it. Loved and it. And I love this even more. And now we're about to have popsicles. So these are some homemade popsicles that we just bought inside the Cenote and we got tequila flavor. Let me have a taste. <laughs> it tastes like tequila, but like diluted tequila. Kind of like, is, I kind it's of lemon like, and tequila. Yeah, it's margarita, right? Probably. It tastes a bit like a margarita, but not really strong or alcoholic. Okay, 
so we just pulled over on the side of the road. We decided to stop and get some tacos at a local spot. I personally prefer stopping at local stands and like little restaurants um, to get my food because I feel like then you're supporting the local economy rather than just, um, you know, giving money to like resorts and things like that. And on the cenote, there was kind of like a little resort. So I would rather give the money to like a local um, restaurant. So we're in the restaurant now. Um, we're gonna get some polonches, which is kind of like fried tacos. So we're gonna get two pork and two chicken. So I'll let you know how that tastes. Food on the move. Okay, so we just arrived at the last cenote of the day, Slote, Slote? Cenote Soitan, I think is how you say it. Um, it's a super famous one, um, you've probably definitely seen pics of it, I'll pop one here. Um, and we, um, oh, I am frazzled, I actually feel exhausted from this today. But we're gonna go down, I don't think, this one is normally, there's a platform that's like right in the centre, but because of the rain over the last few days, it's actually underwater right now. So. I'm kind of interested to see how different it's going to look. Okay, so we just took a four hour bus from Violad in Yucatan to play the Carmen so we could stay here for the weekend. And we just got to our place and as you can see, there's no lights on. And that would mean, <laughs> that would mean no one's here. How are we supposed to get in our apartment? one eternity later okay guys we managed to get inside after trailing through my emails i found the host number gave him a call and it turns out there were some card issues but it all got sorted out and now he sent us basically it's really cool it's like a digital um hotel condos so you don't even need anyone to be here they just give you a code and you just tap in and it lets you in and you have a separate code for your door so now we're inside let me show you the room so when you walk in we've got this nice big double bed and it's backed into this area here which is super cool because the tv flips round into the living room space so i'll show you the other space so we have tatiana lying on the couch hey. over there looking cute and then we have a nice little dining area this is like just cute little art and then we have a massive kitchen like a blender a cooker everything we haven't had this much of a kitchen space since we've been here and then we have these two cute little chairs on the balcony and then we show you the bathroom so mirror which we need massive which is great and then they give us some cute robes we have a nice little rainfall shower and obviously the toilet so i'm pretty happy with this i think it looks really good and i think the price was pretty good um we paid roughly 150 pounds for three nights so that's 50 pounds a night 25 pounds each which is not too bad considering i paid 20 pounds for a hostel before so i'm pretty happy with this um and now i think we're gonna go find some dinner on the strip and then maybe we'll get out some fun stuff tomorrow <laughs> morning guys so after we finally made it into our airbnb last night um we went out for dinner and then we came back and i just feel like the night slowly went downhill <laughs> after we had this really nice dinner um we basically couldn't get back into the building um me and tatiana only had three percent on our phone so we couldn't call the owner um and this happened do that don't do that it's late it's not that late zero Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then we finally eventually managed to get the code correct, to get the door to work and everything got inside. Came upstairs, started watching Firefly in bed, having a good old laugh. And then I think it was around 2 a.m. when I think it was around 2 a.m. when I saw something crawling on the wall. Oh my god. 
this is the second time since being in Mexico that there's been a cockroach in our room and I, I'm just not really equipped to handle it. So this happened. So me and Tatiana were in bed watching, watching um, this show Firefly Lane. Like it's really good, it's big on Netflix right now. And um, we see this thing moving and there's a cockroach in the room and this is the second time it's happened. I don't mean to be dramatic, but I can't deal with it. I can't. Me. I don't. I, oh, oh my god. Where? Is <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. I had to move because I thought it was moving toward me. There's a cockroach in the room. I mean, Tatiana, I just not equipped to deal with this. And I was, sadly, the complex we're in doesn't have staff to like help us. I feel like this is. I, I know this is definitely first world problems, and I can definitely admit that. But. We don't have cockroaches in England, so for me it's a bit scary. It's really big and it's just flying around and I can't, I know it's very dramatic to cry about it, but I can't deal with this and I don't really know what to do. He's definitely dead, Tatiana. We're making We're making but we, we, Tatiana managed to finally kill the cockroach um, and it was all okay in the end, but they're sending a cleaner to clean the whole room today. We found out there's a gap in the, in the glazing and I think that's where things are coming through. There's also ants. Sadly, I do think everything is going a little bit downhill in this apartment, which is sad, but it's really, really nice. Um, but we're gonna try and enjoy the rest of the few days we have in Playa de Carmen before we make a move on to Mexico City. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd give you an update on my I work for your heart all night to the dawn. You stay with they switch doors. I know you're the one. They go and they come. You like the summer breeze through the trees. You like a few away. You and me. You like the summertime love. You like the summertime love. I pull up to your spot in the evening. Got a life and a pop for the weekend. Girl, I say you're the one and I make.